How are you now, boys? Real good. How are you now? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, it's the next day. Yes. Dang it. Just have to call you Robbie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. What'd you get for crop touring with the yeah. fucking trailer? We're there? checking crops here a little <laughs> bit. So, oh, well, we'll get them yanked out. It's the old Saskatchewan yank. Oh, yeah. Give her a little time. Yeah. Oh, you got tow hooks good. Oh, yeah. All right. See you guys in a bit. Old Army. Oh, there he goes. There it is. Nice. Very good. Very good. So we're just uh, making some pens here now. How are you now, boys? Good? Not so bad. All right. Well, we got my machine warming up. Should have revved her up a little bit, and then I wouldn't wouldn't do that. But whatever. That's all right. It can run out of idle. Well, we got the kids loaded in the combine. They got their games and backpacks and whatever else. So, anyways, we got to head across. We'll go out here. And we'll head over and we'll pick up where we left off there last night. Karch and I did, uh, oh, we end up going to this about 11 o'clock. So we will uh, head over there, grab a couple of those swaths here this morning, finish all that off, and uh, then we're going to head down to this end and go we'll pick up the rest of those around those sloughs. And then we got a fair bit of slugging to do over here yet. So that'll be later on. But uh, yeah, I'll get you guys some footage in between here. So we will talk to you in a bit then. Good enough. How's she going, boys? We're giving her. We got, oh, I don't know how many. Uh, I got from me to dad over there. That's how many strips we got. We still got that other bin full already. So, so that's nice. Uh, I got most of it sold already too actually so other than the guy in town might want a bit yet but the guy that I sell to is uh, based out of BC I know Tyson sold to him before um, they're not bad guys to deal with uh, sometimes they never leave you alone but other than that it's pretty good um, what else can I tell you yeah we got so that's about what is that? 8,500 bushel we got up here already. So that's not too bad for flax. Now, like I said, we still got from here to over there yet. So it'll be another, probably another 1,500 bushel, something like that maybe. Maybe a little more, who knows. But, I guess, I will, uh, I don't know if you can see it coming in there. Coming in pretty good, pretty good, guys. Anyway, we're watching them doing here. I'll plug the old girl. Getting these low spots, he's really hairy. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get another video up here about combining. <clears throat> combining in the spring. A lot of fun time. Now we gotta drive over here because the wind blew it. right over to here so I'm gonna pick this up this way and we'll lift it up good enough little snake there oh look at the dust she's a dusty one anyway I'm gonna let you go here I'm gonna keep on chugging if you've never seen I did a bit of a live stream here the other day so Go check her out. Might get you all excited to do your spring combining, but whoa, baby. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a bit here. Well, boys, 
Here we go. On our last little strip here. This, uh, I'm taking this one the right way. Dad's bringing it backwards. And uh, we'll probably meet down in the middle there someplace. Maybe not quite the middle, more more closer to this end, but that's all right. Might as well help him out with the last one. Just get some good footage, eh? Oh gosh, yes. So anyway, we uh, my calculations, if they're right, this should have ran about 30, 31 bushels an acre. So that's not too bad. Not as good as some years, but hey, at least it's in the fucking bin. I don't have to worry about it now. Maybe next year she'll get better, boys. You never know. Just got to keep on keeping on. So, oh well, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, we got the bin full. I'm going to have to probably haul some of this crap home or maybe leave it on the semi. I'll bring the semi tomorrow and put it on there and see how she goes and uh, it's got a good part on the semi so anyway I will uh, there he is old man just giving her going backwards he got scared leave her there good enough he says so we will uh, see you in a bit here. We just gotta go to him and then that's it. That's the last of the flax. Wow, other than, uh, I got some, there'll be a few swaths in, uh, in the sloughs. There's a little bit of water and shit underneath, but I would, wouldn't mind getting a filter for Nick's machine there and uh, change the filter on that PTO and give her a try, see how she does. When everything dries up a bit, and then take all these old girls home, get them blown off. And there it is. And that's it. Good enough. All right, guys. We'll uh, see you in a while. There we go, boys. We got her done. I got to bring a shovel back in the morning and. Finished cleaning that truck out, and uh, combines are right full yet, so we have to bring the semi over in the morning and um, jump the combines on there. I guess I'm gonna have to get up early and uh, zip over and maybe uh, grab the semi and. Bring it over and get these uh, combines dumped out. I don't know, there's stars out right now, so they're talking maybe a 30% chance of rain or something, or just shower, so. Anyways, I guess, I'm heading home to bed. It's a long enough day. I don't even know what time it is, 12.30 or something like that. So, all right guys, we will see you tomorrow. Talk to you in a bit. Morning, guys. How are you now? Well, we got those bulls gone. Going through the sale today. And I got to clean up this pen. I'm going to move some pears over here and the ones that we AI. Looks like my water bowl's on a little bit of a kilter here. So that's kind of shitty, but... We'll have to uh, try to get that straightened out too. We got the other, the good bulls are over here now. Got to put them in a bigger pen in case they fight, which they usually do. They are humping each other's heads right now, so that's good. But yeah, I'll have to get that blocked up. That's no good like that. Got a few panels here I want to take out. And like I say, I want to get some bedding in here before I uh, move the cows over. Give them a bit of a shelter anyways. I hate fucking hauling water too, so... That's gonna be nice. But anyways, I gotta haul these goat panels out of here. Something like that. Instead of trying to pick up both. Let's see if, well, I'm gonna need both hands, but 
Anyways, I'll bring you back in a few here when I figure out what's going on. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, boys and girls. We got her bedded in here. I gotta fix that water bowl yet, but I'm gonna move the cows over. They can start. We're gonna need water here pretty soon, anyways. Today, I haven't watered them yet, so we'll get them moved over. Now you know what it looks like, Nick, over here. So, back here is just like a sorting pen, is all we use this for back here. I wanna make some gates and hang them on these posts, but all this is gonna be steel here next year. This whole thing here, so. I don't want to do too much. I'm going to go up that way too, put sucker up between. And uh, either that or a wind fence, and then I can stick it right over top of the. Uh... Oh, she's mucky. Stick it right over top of the uh, water bowl like that. I'll build one just for it. But I want to pour. Uh... I want to pour some pads on these water bowls this year because I'm tired of fucking leveling them and whatever. So that is the plan. So, so, I'm gonna move these, that like that, and then use this as a sorting pen here too, so works pretty good. That alley, I wanna, be nice to get something different with that alley though, really. Um, just because, oh come on, wouldn't mind having all gates, but anyways, so I'm going to run them up here, and then down, get them in here, and then they can go all the way down the alley, but in here, I think I'm going to build myself some equipment this year, I want to make a uh, a better alleyway in here. Sometimes uh, yearlings can get turned around in the calves. It's too wide. I mean, it works for the big cows because they're too big to turn around, but, and they bust aboard the bitches. So that's my plan. And then I can put gates, like sliding gates on each one of these angles. So I can hold one, two, three, four, about five cows, and then take that panel out here and put a big tub right there is my plan. So, in case they get turned around in that alley, then I'll have to replace that right away. Get that all spun around and then put a crowding tub here and then a steel alley all the way up with a catwalk and stuff on it. All these gates I made myself. So this one here, you can just walk through. This guy here is uh, like a palpation cage. There you go. Now they can't come through, and then you can get into the squeeze here if you have to. So that's kind of how she works. It's all right. It does the trick. The, uh, I think I got to adjust my cables on my head gate, though, one of these days. Oh, here's my stick. Nothing but the best out here, old Easton. Anyway, I'm going to try to, uh, move these cows by myself so we'll go over here I'll bring the old mamas up the wall old Hank the tank here just laying around but uh, yeah so anyways I'll try and get these old girls moved and I'll bring you back in a bit all right this will be better out of the way, give me chickens. There. All right. There we go. Well, that was a fucking effort. Try to move calves is terrible. Round in circles and fuck around. Anyway, now I got to. Uh, whoop. I gotta fix that water bowl next, so we'll see you in a few here, guys. Okay, yeah, that's better. Got her blocked up both sides. Pack some straw in there for now. There's still ice and shit here, so 
For now, it's gonna have to be good enough. These fucking bozos, dink and doink. What a pair. Anyways, that's that. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll leave her like that for now. There's Billy, you guys haven't seen Billy. Out on the prowl. Alright. Shut this. I don't want the bowls in here. So. There we go. Oh, my gloves are here. There we go. Anyway, shouldn't be uh, no cows in heat. Beside them, we AI'd the ones that were already, so they're bred, we hope. And uh, yeah, here's our, here's our new little home. For now, until they can go out to pasture, so. All right, we'll see you in a bit here. Well, boys, that's a wrap on the flax, moving cows, a little bit of everything, everything, everything. Anyways, look what we found, Nick. I found it in the dirt. So anyway, we're heading to town, going to uh, get some Tim's coffee. We're just moving the com moving combines home and and all that fun stuff. So get that done, and then uh, and then want to uh, continue on harrowing. These guys were combining here yesterday in this canola. But anyway, I guess that'll be her for this video. I'm just gonna bomb down the old chicken trail here. And now we're at home because I guess my uh, closing, I must have hit the stop button. Oh, anyways, we're home here now. We got uh, working on the sprayer. So. That'll be the next video, boys. So, thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell, too. Then, you know, an old straight pipe series got a new video coming out. So, anyway, we'll see you in the next one.